Hi guys, I am back in my study here. Um, yeah, it suits uh, what I want to talk to you uh, about today. Uh, it's easier to do it here in my study. Uh, so today, um, a little bit different uh, video, but and just want to do just want to do it real quick. I don't want this to be too long. Um, so, yeah, many of you know that, uh, that, um, uh, McBaron, uh, has been coming out with some limited, limited run tobaccos, and, uh, some of them, um, well, I guess, I guess all of them were, tobaccos that they brought back uh, in one way or another uh, and the one that I want to talk about today um, isn't one that just disappeared and has just now come back so mm. uh, and of course you all know what it is because you've seen the title of the video hopefully it's uh, about McBaron uh, Stockton I haven't talked about this tobacco much or at all on the channel, I'm not sure. Uh, a spun cut. Really nice looking tin. It's the uh, that old uh, old style uh, printing uh, and the style on the tin. Really nice color. Uh, really really a nice nice looking tin. Uh, so that's the tobacco I want to look at today, but I, but I, it's not going to be just a review. Um, it's going to be enough information that it would be, it would work for a review for many of you, but, um, I want to do a little bit of a c comparison, um, just for fun. Uh, it probably won't be that enlightening or anything else, uh, like that, but it just might be of interest to you. Uh, so, and I'm smoking it in this Design Berlin uh, pipe. Uh, I just thought it fit. It's a really nice, nice green. This is a dark green uh, color. I think it's um, a Mayflower. I think that's the name of it. A uh, really nice pipe. Uh, really smokes well. I just thought it went with a with a green uh, of the Stockton uh, tobacco that we're going to talk about. Uh, yeah, so this is a tobacco that was kind of the original uh, tobacco um, that um, McBaron put out. And uh, I think it's... Um, I think it says on the back uh, all about it. Yeah, that it's. I might as well read it to you because uh, it just describes what I'm saying. It says Stockton is one of the oldest tobaccos in the McBaron line. It is made uh, out of whole Virginia leaves with a dark center of of dark fired Kentucky. This is a spun tobacco following the traditions of craftsmanship which has been used for more than 400 years. So this this is an old style tobacco too. Uh, you know, done, done as near as can be done uh, in, you know, the old style. Uh, yeah, making a, making a roll and uh, cutting and uh, letting it mature, letting it ferment and go through that process and then uh, cutting it into um, coins uh, and McBaron has quite a few coins in their line and they're and they're really uh, they're really good at doing um, these coin tobaccos and uh, they're really some of my favorite tobaccos uh, some of you don't care for them too much uh, yeah that's why everyone likes uh, something different uh, but these uh, McBaron uh, coins, the spun cuts, uh, like the dark twist, uh, and this one, 
and they have a few more are really some of my favorite um, tobaccos um, it's, it's something that um, yeah I come back to often and um, always make sure that I have a something um, laying around uh, either Stockton or Dark Twist or one of those um, want to make sure that I have those uh, at least up until now who knows what the future will hold we're not sure about that uh, as far as tobacco goes um, sure many of you know that um, yeah these things are always up in the air and and changing and uh, uh, things are disappearing and things are reappearing uh, yeah it's like kind of like a magic show So, yeah, I didn't want this to be too long, so what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to cut here and um, get on the other side of the camera and just do a little bit of a comparison, uh, and you'll see uh, what I mean. So, yeah, I'm going to cut here. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so here I'm back behind behind the scenes now yeah so I just wanted to just compare this um, this new released um, Stockton uh, which is yeah the same as same as the Stockton that we've been used to and then just compare it to uh, an older Stockton that I have um, about I don't know about 10 years old 10 to 12 years old um, just to take a look at the difference and uh, see if we can see uh, yeah any differences of, of how they're making it now and uh, and what it looked what it looked like before um, and the aging process it's uh, often fun to just take a look at the aging process and um, and see what's happened to a tobacco to imagine what your what your new tobacco here will look like uh, when you get uh, age on it uh, 10 to 12 years or something like that uh, just thought that'd be interesting all right so first of all um, yeah it's it's pretty bright there's a lot of bright uh, parts to the the tobacco here and then if you look at one of the the coins uh, you see that the darkness is just in the center there's just there's these center uh, pieces that are that are dark the whole the whole coin isn't dark so they just they just put the dark part in the center and then they wrap the Virginia and the light tobacco around the the outside uh, and then they cut it uh, so yeah so this is the what the the new uh, Stockton tobacco looks like uh, it's when you when you smell it uh, out of the out of the tin here uh, you don't get too much of a smell it's not it's not real pungent uh, but it's but it's really a, a, a smoky creamy um, earthy uh, it's it's really a dark fired um, Kentucky smoke you really get the Kentuckys they really do come out but uh, but because it's wrapped in these um, in these Virginia leaves uh, it's uh, it's kind of a yin yang uh, you know not just presentation but w when it smokes they they work back and forth um, for each other uh, the dark fired has that deepness, uh, richness, a bit of smokiness, uh, a bit of earthiness, uh, but it's it's not just left there on its own. It's um, it's it's balanced really well with um, with a Virginia that gives a really good sweetness and 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 lifts the the flavor profile of the tobacco up a little bit and and pulls it into your uh, into your taste buds more so you, you you get a real fullness of the the tobacco flavor um, I think uh, dark fired Kentucky is is good on its own 
but it's it can be very subtle and it can uh, it can just uh, sit on the sideline, not quite on the sidelines, but it can uh, sit in the background somewhat. But the Virginias, uh, when they mix in the Virginias with it, it brings all of it forward, and and they work with each other back and forth. Um, like I said, kind of a yin yang. Uh, yeah, way of um, presenting itself and um, and in the smoke itself. Uh, so you really get a sense of the Virginias uh, too. And this is uh, really apparent um, with the new tobacco uh, because the, the flavors haven't, uh, haven't completely uh, melded together yet. And uh, you really you really get a, a, a differentiation between the dark fires and, and the Virginia and uh, it really works well together uh, this is this is for me this is just uh, the the perfect flavors of, of a tobacco and, and a traditional style of tobacco that uh, that really reminds you of um, yeah what pipe smoking and pipe smoke um, can really be about this it's really a uh, it's really something that can bring good memories back if you have memories of pipe smoke uh, around you uh, whether it's your grandfather or father or, um, yeah, someone that you you've known uh, but this is uh, for me a quintessential uh, tobacco and one that uh, I can always smoke uh, can always be in the mood for this. So that's the that's the uh, Stockton that that we've been used to um, more recently. Uh, the only difference is they've uh, they've brought back the uh, the old style tin, which I'm really glad about. Uh, yeah, this the look of this tin is much more appealing than than the new. Um, tins and I, I really hope that they they can do this for uh, yeah the rest of their tobacco lines it would um, yeah I think it would be much more much more attractive um, than um, the new tin stickers that they've been putting out it's um, you know it's not uh, printed uh, on the tin like it used to be it's a, still a sticker but at least it's one step in that direction that's uh, really just has that um, traditional feel about it so let's take a look at the the age tobacco that I've had um, you know I always have some in a jar here and uh, that's that's a bit like the the new tin uh, style uh, here and, and you can see that the color the color is a bit different. This is a, more of a blue, um, but this is more what the the tin art looked like, which it's fine. It's uh, yeah, it answers all the questions and and all that, but it just doesn't have that 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 feel. So let's take a look at the tobacco. Uh, so it has done some aging. For sure in 10 to 12 years you can see how dark it is uh, bring, bring one more into the light and yeah it, it is broken apart a little bit because uh, it's been handled a little bit but uh, and they tend to the coins tend to loosen up and and fall apart a lot more easy uh, but there's one that's almost almost full but you can see how the the dark center has has taken over uh, the entire um, batch of tobacco here and it's really dark um, and you can see the aging on the paper but uh, what this means is uh, that the tobacco now has has come together uh, and has um, 
uh, melded itself um, together and uh, because I mean you can see the Virginias are still there they they've just been uh, fermenting with the dark fired uh, for so long that they they've unified more and um, uh, this this tobacco that's aged is just it has the same flavor it's just so much more smooth and when I say that that's not to say that that the this tobacco over here is not smooth it's just that you know every little edge that uh, that you you could have seen in the the newer tobacco is smoothed over uh, over here uh, it's like when you're you're doing some woodworking and uh, you're doing some finish finished sanding and you're getting close but you know you have to go um, go to a finer and finer grit uh, sandpaper uh, to get there. It's not that the that the wood has uh, huge defects in it uh, already, and you have to get those out. No, it it's already smooth, but it gets even better uh, if you bring it down with some uh, much finer sandpaper. Uh, and so it's it's that difference. It's it's a fine tuning, and so um, and I know a lot of people don't really care for aged tobaccos, but uh, and you know they're not necessarily meant to be aged. You know it's um, it's 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 a, a preference. I mean, there this is made to smoke the way it is, uh, but this this is just a fine tuning of what the other uh, what the newer tobacco is and uh, I think it, it it's just just that much better um, because the sweetness is still there and and that rich smokiness of of the Kentucky is still there but they're married together uh, more so so yeah let me back it up a little bit so you can see the difference there it's quite a difference uh, so if you really like uh, aged tobacco um, yeah you can see the difference from going from here to here and uh, it's it is really worthwhile if you can um, you know if you can get enough tobacco um, and you have patience enough to put this aside and and get this uh, it, it really is worth it. This tobacco is just, it's just uh, soft and smooth and, uh, but, but rich, uh, and creamy, uh, all, all together. Uh, Stockton's really good blend. Uh, it's one of my favorites, but everyone has a different palate. So, but I thought it'd be interesting just to see, uh, the difference from, where Stockton begins and where it can end up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera, and um, and I'll so I'll see you in a second. All right. So, yeah, that's that's a look at uh, Stockton um, by McBaron. This came out with a, a limited uh, edition tobacco with a new uh, new printing on it, old style, traditional, uh, really good, good fresh. And then uh, taking a look at uh, what it looks like down the road, um, a glimpse into the future of what Stockton uh, can look like uh, if you age it. Yeah, so I didn't want to take too much of your time. Uh, that's about it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are well. I uh, hope you guys are um, just hanging in there, whatever uh, you're up to. And, uh, whatever you have going. But uh, whatever that is, load your pipe with something that you like. And um, take a few minutes and relax. And enjoy your pipe and your tobacco. And we'll talk to you again uh, Hopefully soon. Alright, take care.